The drivers, characters, and events in Tokar are fictional. Nobody was harmed in the filming of this production. Now sit back and enjoy the race. Welcome to the season opener for the second season of the Splink Cup series. Today we're at Daytona Super Speedway. Tokar! Once again, once again on the high banks of Daytona. We're expecting more calamity, more mayhem, and a brand new winner, hopefully. Maybe an old winner. We'll, I guess we'll never know until we get there. Tokar! I'm here, with, I'm here with Mike. I'm here with Matt. I'm here with Tristan. I'm Kyle, as always. Thank you guys for showing up today. Thank you, everybody, for watching this. Big day today here for Tokar. Kicking off our second season. We had an absolute classic in yesterday's Goodies Trash Race. We're expecting a lot more of the same today for this Point Cup Series. Gentlemen, what are we in for? Guys, it's just a beautiful day for a race. The sun is out. The clouds are nice and gone. Every other the race we've had here at Daytona in the last few days here in Speedways has been a dreary day. I think this is going to boost everyone's spirits here today, and we're going to have a beautiful race. It's hard not to walk out into the open, fresh air from the ocean and just get that that vibe that tow cars back. We're here. It's it's time for a Splint Cup race. I have no idea what happened in the trash race. I was off the grid uh, during the trash race, aka at Darlington Raceway Media Center, where the internet sucks. So I got, I have no idea what goes on in that race. I don't know what to expect out of this because of that. All I got is practice to go off of. And I got to say, I'm towed up. Yeah, I got to, got to agree with you guys. We're in for a really good one today. I think uh, if uh, the trash series uh, brought any indication on what to expect today, uh, we're in for a really good race. I mean, I mean, the, the, the trash race itself was a lot of fun to watch and, um, I, you know, I, I think we're going to see a lot of that uh, that we saw in the trash race today uh, play out again. So uh, they're going to go fast. They're going to turn left and we're going to have fun. Tristan. What? I'm drinking a Capri Sun. That's awesome, dude. Hard hitting journalism here in the two car booth. Ultimately, though, I agree. I think we're in for a show today. But before we can get that show started, we need to go through the field. On pole today, that 43 car, Mario Zandretti, voted back into the God, series dude. and already on the pole for the most important race of the season. Alongside him, Kurt and Kyle Busch in the 21 car. Third place today is Willie Studs, called up from the trash series up here to uh, the Cup Series. See what he can do today. Daniel Sua is alongside him in the 04. Fifth is uh, Ginger Joe in that 13 mobile. And sixth place, don't look now, it's one of the Band Aid boys. It's Brad Omen in that four car. The 08 car is going to be piloted by uh, DUI Div this season. Let's not forget, number change on that team from 97 in the trash series to 08 here to make Dewey. sure that Harold gets his number. Shut up, Dewey. Alongside him, Joe Swanson in the 71 car. That car looks crazy. That it does. Behind them, the 87 car, Deddy McBetty this season, the Bet MGM machine. And alongside him, Tatu Masato in that 7 car. Next place is going to be Brody Kraft. Newly initiated, I guess, after the identity fraud in that 48 car. And alongside him is the 70 car of Bellagio Asiago. Next up, one of the new faces to the series. You can't hear me in that 58 target mobile. And alongside him, Peck R. Petty in the 69 car. Ultra strong. The next row, going to be the 45 car of Braden Bunch. And alongside him, the 96 of Corey Origami. Two playoff drivers in our first season. Next up, the other ally car. Cheesy in that 10 mobile, and alongside him, Limburger Asiago in that 57 Cheesy. Then, making music in that 8 car, one of the favorites in our Goodies Trash season, season 1. Now he's in Splink Cup. Can he have that luck here too? And alongside him is Tristan's favorite, Mateus Paiva. I hate him! Next up is the State Owned car, the Monday Plywood in that 55, Plot 55 mobile. And alongside him is the Catheter, Chris the Catheter Keen in that 65 Gatorade car. Next up, the Honda, Raymond Hans, and alongside him, the 67 car of Arkansas Jones. Next up, a very large row. We got Chunk Charles Wagon in the hefty 23 car, and alongside him, the local menace, Dave Juth in that 33 cat. Hello. <laughs> Next up, we got Jake Joe in the two car, and alongside him, the refugee himself, James Icup. That's my car. It certainly oh, is. Good. It certainly does. Next up, we have a Holden. That's down under in the 76 car. And alongside him, a fellow Aussie. You're a <laughs> Then, the most hated man in sports. Tom and Walls in the Fast and All 66 car. And alongside him, 
Chris Call, last season's Daytona winner in the Trash Series in that three car. The oldest man to ever walk this earth, Harold Clot, starts towards the back of the field today in that 97 Band-Aid mobile, Buickle Saber. And Dude, alongside him, Clot heads at? shout out to all the Clotters for real, for real. And next to him, Zach Outback in the 29 car, which is for some reason still a Chevy SS. Next up, Shaquille Oatmeal in that 47 car. Got Shaq on the hood. Got the quicker guy on the wing. Could they have a trophy by the end of the day? The hell! Alongside them, arguably the season one favorite in the Cup Series, Muscular's Atrophy in the Bigfoot One car. Then, the season one Goody Trash Series champion, Rustered and Ketchup. The 42 car, there's still multiple colors on that number. The car still looks good, but is it still fast? And alongside multiple him. Multiple colors, multiple personality. That might be a disorder. We're not going to get into that one. Uh, next up, Willow, we have a cyborg, Conroy Rosario in the 27 car of Ramen Noodle Cup fame. Next up, we have Tyrese Halifax in that 24 car, one of our co-champions in season one. And alongside him, called up from the Goodish Trash Series, is Walter Cooler in the nine car. We have the three Masato, one of our co-champions in the 77, starring P. Last on the inside row. And alongside him, rounding out the field, the Walmart car. Sweet baby Ray Cyrus. Let's not forget a terrible impact into the pit wall at Bowman Gray. He really hasn't been the same since. Starting off pretty rough today. Can he rebound? Maybe. Well, that's enough talk. Let's throw it to Jason Payson and get things underway. Drivers, start your engines. Oh, look at him go. And just like that, 42 cars roll off the pit road. 42 dreams begin. Some may end here today. It's okay. They didn't know. I have to say, I, the practice for the Goodies Trash Series race was very, very, very messy. We saw a calamity every two minutes. We saw someone perish right about here on the racetrack. And then we got to the race, and we saw some of the best displays of driving we've ever seen in Tokar. For that, and, and for that reason alone, I'm not sure what we're going to see today. But I know we're going to enjoy it. What would you have to say, Tristan? You you know, same could be said with the, um, well, it's more of a vice versa kind of scenario here. I mean, I'm not going to say it was a clean practice for the Cup Series, but it was definitely a lot more cleaner than the Trash Series. So I, I wonder if that's going to carry over or if it's going to be kind of like the, uh, the the Trash Series and it just flip-flops and we just have a, <laughs> have a wreck fest tonight. Well, if it's going to be a wreck fest, I don't want to be up front. Kurt and Kyle and Mario Zandretti are definitely in the best possible position to avoid some of that calamity. At least you'd think. Willie Studs up there as well. Daniel Suez. Daniel Suez, I think, is the only person in the top 10 who was a Cup Series playoff driver. Actually, part of me, no, Tatuma's in there too. But still, for the most part, this is a field of a lot of unexperienced people. The people towards the front either didn't have a very successful season or are brand new to the series. So, really knows nobody knows really what we're going to see here. Uh, at least until we get things underway. Jason Payson bringing us at a very crisp pace through turns three and four. A solid 13 miles an hour, it seems, but don't worry. Once we're at full speed, we're going to be singing at 210 today here at Daytona, if it's anything like that trash race was. Jason Payson leads the field off turn four. He's going to turn hard left to the inside. And that can only mean one thing. Another season of tow car begins, and it begins now. Another day, another boggy. We're green. Boogity, boogity. Humongous Matt. jump for that 43. Hey, what's up, Tristan? I have a five-layer burrito. Dude, that's awesome. Remember catering. when those were 89 cents? Yeah. Don't remind me. The catering is immaculate. The budget's not high, but the flavor's there. I just the Hot Pockets, so... Willie Stutz uh, has a big run coming off turn number two. I don't think he's going to do anything with it. It's a bit early. Oh, here he comes. Oh, oh, he's doing something. Wasting no time. Mario kind of moved high. Out of the way. We did see in the trash race and the practice sessions, the oh, areas. Oh, goodness. Oh, they're hooking each other. We got more cars on the apron behind those guys. Oh, my Looks God. Looks like everybody's going to sort it out. But, man, that was Barely. not what I expected to see. Who's going to lead the first lap? Ginger, Ginger, Ginger Joe. Joe. And, you know, that's what the finish could look like, too. A lot of the time in these tow car races, there's a race of nutrition going on. We lose a lot of our field. If we're able to keep them all running, it could be very similar at the end. Look at this second and third groove. Look at Joe oh, Swanson up the middle. Suez in the wall. Oh, oh crap. Oh, there right. we go. There it is. Making Make music's it. around. Co Corey Argami, you can't hear me. Curtin Kyle's in it. Wow. And they spin down the oh, infield. Oh, oh. hit jumps in the 55. Man. Doing oh, and there's tricks still... on it. 
Oh, they're all trying to merge. Looks like we'll be okay, I think, but they're all gonna race back to the line. I don't think that out. was that bad of a crash, to be honest with you. I don't either, but Who's I do this? think Harold's pretty Dewey. torn up. Yep, DUI Div will lead us into the pit, or the coffin. Trouble. Let's take another look here. Looks like the 04 led that top groove up into the wall. Both he and the 7 car brush against it. And the 4 just gets his bumper hooked, and there they go. Corey Origami gets turned, the 8 car gets turned. They have a bit of a wreck up ahead of these guys, who that might not have been related. That got cheesy in Kurt oh. and Kyle. Arkansas Jones hit hard. Sandwiched. To Threema just squeezing through there with oh. a little bit of damage. Oh, sweet Chris baby Paul Ray's. In it. I think That's... Conroy might have avoided. I don't know. He might definitely hit the right side, but... Walter Cooler got a good bit of that last minute. We see down under York. I think that's Conrad in that too. Yep. Charles Chunk Wagon and Muscular's Atrophy. Man, a lot of our favorites wiped out real early today. Oh, oh. No. not my favorites. And oh. You can't just get torn up after the wreck. Oh God, don't happen again. Yeah, I think he was trying to avoid going through the grass. Just didn't have a clear way back up and got hit. Looking at it from high above here, we have Kurt and Kyle Bush. Now, watch as... Oh, okay, there was something happening up ahead. But Kurt and Kyle gets involved because the wreck catches up to him. And you can't hear me. He and... What was it? Who was that? Cheesy? Or was that Brody Kraft? Got hooked together. And they almost made it out of there fine. Brody did. But... You can't did not. As he got hit by, um... Whoever that was we were just looking at. I forgot. Yeah. They crash. So... I believe that was Kurt and Kyle Bush. Yes. I didn't... He's not checking oh. his mirrors as he's trying to get back on the racetrack. He's you a rookie know, guy. The luckiest man in Daytona might be Kurt and Kyle Busch. He was about to get pitched sideways across that jump. We saw the 55 car take flight over that rumble strip. The 21 almost got turned across that same bump sideways. Who knows how many times he would have flipped if that happened. Yeah, we got to take a look at the 55 through that crash. And here we are, looking at the 55 through this crash. On board the Monday Plywood. The house car. Oh. House always wins. God, there's just so much going on around him. Here comes the rumble strips. Wee! Oh! And up he goes. Oh! Kurt and Kyle almost got jumped into. Oh, we might want to take a look. I was going to say, we might want to take a look at that 71, too. On this onboard, you could hear a humongous thud as they were going through the second part of the bus stop. I wonder if he also jumped something. On board with Joe Swanson. He's just trying to make three wider Keith, Kurt, and Kyle. He gets it done. But they get all hung up in front of him, and then he starts getting all panicked. Just shoving the 21 through the grass like Daryl Waltrip. Oh. He looks like he's able to get through the... Oh. We'll just slam the whole bottom pan of the oh. car on the pavement. But besides that, I think he's going to be all right. Hot merge. Scored the entire under trail off. That thing's making up for us now. Field approaches the start-finish line here off turn four at Daytona. Pace car once again going to pull hard left at the inside. Your eyes don't fool you. That is a Pontiac up on the front row. That's the 87 of Denny McBetty. And he already lost the lead. We're green. Yeah, I don't think we have very uh, solid restart rules here in tow car because that second place car loves to get a big jump. You know what it might be? Uh, we saw it at Kansas earlier this year for, at the expense of Chris Buescher. Sometimes the actual lines on the racetrack aren't painted as straight as you'd like. Perhaps the line is a little bit earlier on the high side and they just keep getting a great jump. I don't really know. Nonetheless, field storms on the back stretch. We didn't, really, we didn't lose anybody completely from that crash, although was, I'm sure you can see all the way at the very back. The 70 car is running on about two cylinders right now. I think that's the 70 car, unless it's the 27. It is, okay. So, we do have one straggler, but he's still in the field. Oh, oh. no! Goodness gracious, they Daddy almost off, got right. turned from the lead up there. Man, the bumps have not been steady this whole week. It's been very, very hard to push each other. Let's not forget, these tires are made out of absolute cheese get graded off in two seconds as you see there 87 couldn't even hold the bottom here comes the two masato and that seven car both these cars stayed out so this isn't one guy's tires versus the other guy's tires yet but did the 55 stay out 55 did tore the entire underbody off that thing kept on going and he might be in the lead pretty soon here and you know He's something i right want to touch on is like we saw oh, oh! maybe that we can hold off on that Oh, go ahead. Gosh. All right. Well, if they keep calm, one thing that I wanted to touch on is like during the trash trash series, uh, we saw pit stops just about every single caution. Um, 
even even on like two two laps of tires. So I wonder if that's going to take into account today, it, for that matter. Like, obviously we have a new outlook in the front row here on that most recent restart. So I wonder how tire strategy is going to play in a, into factor for the majority of this race. Is what I'm trying to say. Yep. Matt, we know you were in the Wild West. You didn't get a chance to watch the trash race. That tires were a humongous factor in that race. It seemed like after one or two laps, honestly, it was handling just like Darlington. The tires absolutely peel off these cars at these speeds. You know, most of the guys that stayed out have now migrated to the top. Not sure if Tom and Pitt or not, but if he didn't, he's the leader, so it makes sense that, that he's holding the bottom, and he can't even do that. Is that Zandretti back there trying to force it three wide? Trying to make moves. Not Ooh. wasting any time. Oh, once again, Conroy getting way too excited off turn two. That's been the trouble areas, Matt. We've seen a lot of trouble off turn two, a lot of off turn four. Oh, Tom and... It seems they can enter the corner just fine, but on corner exit, these cars get light and start turning each other. This time, somehow they avoid it, but I'm sure they won't for long. Tommen just dropping like a rock out there. There, there is a third lane forming up back there that will catch him. The UI so he won't go all the way back. Move for the lead on the top side. It's not really working out, but he's trying it. Oh, oh, oh they're oh, wrecking. They're oh, wrecking big. Oh. Oh. oh, Tyrese did not need that hit. Brad right. Oman trying to flip. And Tommen Tommen music. music. To three Masato names. Tommen and other Walsh. drivers. Oh, Zach out back. No regard for human life. There's and they're field still field. racing back here. Wow, they're packed up too. Looks like everybody's going to hold on, I think. They are Triple up. cheeked up. <laughs> Ginger Joe is going to be the first to the line as the rest of the field begins to slow down. And we have a caution. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, they're wrecking. No! no! They're wrecking. Oh, man. They're all right. <laughs> I think the worst uh, person to be right now is Conroy. Conroy all torn up. The rest of them, I think, escaped without major damage. The fuck was my driver doing? What are they doing now? They're throwing blocks. Oh, the UI Dewey in the grass. In form. He's been pre-gaming. I'm going to take a look at the replay here. Uh, I think it all started around the number four car. Brad, oh, oh go figure. Yeah. Oh. oh. Yeah. Man, oh man, that thing almost flipped over. Oh, Tyrese you know, took a lick up there, man. You know, Mateus, the Cup Series isn't for everybody. And if you remember, Tom and Walls got shuffled up to the high side and sent back there, what, like a lap before this happened? So he was almost not even close to being involved in this and instead probably has the worst damage out of anybody, maybe besides Tyrese. Take a look at the 24 car here at Tyrese Halifax. He's going to be pretty close to Mateus, but not on him, so he doesn't get hooked by him. Has that avoided, but then looks like Jeez. the 45 is going to just get bodied up and throws him into the wall very hard. Oof! Last year's champion in some more pain already in the first race of the season. Yeah, guys, let's not forget, guys, this is still only about six weeks removed from that terrible wreck he had at Atlanta. Can't possibly be 100% yet. Man, Tom oh, just can't God, get a turn So we ride on board the dumbass of the hour. He just he kind of just packs it there on the four car. Oh, man. Yeah, I mean, that car is covered in band-aids. You can't do that. I will tell you what, guys. That 05 Sweet Baby Rays, I, he's lucky he did not go over. That was that was, that was violent. On board the 05 car, just an innocent bystander gets turned and almost gets turned over. Man, and... Think back to last season's race here. Mario's Andretti, it wasn't exactly like that, but had a very weird wreck off turn two and went tumbling. The 05 almost suffered the same fate here today. Tow car! And we're back at Daytona as they struggle to double up. Not the sharpest tools in the shed by far, but they're what we got. Ginger Joe led them back to the caution uh, a couple laps ago, so he will lead them back to the green flag. Surprising again to see not a lot of people up front pit. Um, that was a good few lap run there. And this place is kind of like Darlington, so... I feel like that might make a difference. I don't know where we have our first car that hit 
throughout the running order, but we have Ginger Joe and Joe Swanson. Funny. Uh, on the front row to lead him back. And they're accelerating. Zoom. And quite. Or if you're Joe Swanson, he's screaming, Go! 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 Faster! Anyway. Um, somehow the 13 held its own on the inside. We don't see that too much in Tokar. They got a great start on the bottom line. Very impressed with Joe Swanson, because not only is Simon's system driving the car this year, it's also crew achievement, so it's making all the calls about fuel strategy, tires, adjustments, everything. It's He's purely at the mercy of AI now, guys. Yeah, well, Simon says he's fallen back. Yeah, and that's yeah, Simon's that's system. Oh! Oh, oh come goodness on. gracious. Come on. Oh, no! Okay. Press call almost the, obliterated. Almost the clacking, Napa cars Napa. almost got together there, yeah. Almost yeah. Like a Napa clacking. While we have a moment to report, I was speaking with uh, Cardwar during that commercial break, and they were actually saying the 71 car, let's not forget, the Simon system relatively new, only a few months old, the technology that he uses. He was trying to t get the car adjusted on that most recent caution, and instead got directions to Outback Steakhouse. That car is not handling the way they wanted. Luckily, the gates are closed once the green flag drops, and the car was not able to leave the track. It started yeah, to I figured there. that out. Yeah, it tried. Stop! He might be struggling Look. to get it to go to the bottom side, too. I haven't seen him down there very much. It just keeps coming back to him. Lane occupied. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes. Confirm. Yes. <laughs> That's 71. Please enter the confirmation report. code we've sent to your phone. Oh, Jake Joe. Okay, Garmin. Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at that. He just said, fuck you, Walter Cooler. And here come the Joe brothers. Both of them. Dude, oh. Joe racing has oh. never been better. Oh. It was about to be Jover, man. He almost turned them. Thankfully, they caught it. That just turned it into a big run. They're 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 charging up that outside lane, middle lane, whatever lane you want to call it. And oh, well, now they're up by the wall. This is I, not going to work out for oh, Ginger Joe. He's getting a, shuffled out. Got a slow uh, car up there. Looks like it might be Rosario. It is. Oh boy. Oh no. And that thing is going. That thing is going 23 miles an hour. James Icup tried to force his way to the inside. There was literally a full car there. Oh, oh this is gonna get really interesting here, guys. Oh, he's just oh, blocking he's the checking bottom. up the bottom, and now he's moving up. Well, you're where did Yora come from? Oh, oh, oh they're hitting each other. Oh, it's no. their. F you know, the fact they're going a little bit slower might help them here. It might not though. They're in the wall. Somebody, Jake they're Joe. They're four wide back there. What is? Oh, oh, I don't man. like the looks of this. Oh, we have a lot of big players in this gaggle of cars oh, right now man. as they come off four and right they now, collect and together many many cars involved in this one. Oh, and they just keep getting more involved hey, oh, look at harold look at harold no oh. harold no he can't do oh. that oh. harold there zach outback has been a menace all fucking night with his plows he's lucky the last oh. caution not so lucky this time oh, man. the 23 is getting turned Jake here Joe comes mateus dump chunk I was gonna say, that's not Absolute the first time we've seen that 29 fucking flying through Rex. Mister, where did he come from? Oh, and he just money shifted. Oh, the 70 car's aiming for people. Man, Mateus is slow. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, oh that's oh. good. Oh, and that's... Oh, God. Oh, look oh, out! No. Oh. oh, murdered. Oh, Rusted. That's gonna end Rusted's day. Oh, oh no! No, right. no, no, no! Okay, all right, all right. Okay. Thank goodness. Oh, look who's in the lead. That's our car. Hashtag not scripted. Anyway, let's take a look at what just happened. They're quadruple cheeked up back here because of Conroy clogging the artery that is the racetrack. And eventually it's just too much. As multiple, I mean, the 55 is about getting turned up there, but more importantly, wow. Just cars sandwiching together, hitting the wall, bouncing back off of it, bouncing back into each other. Oh. We got like, over a dozen, a baker's dozen at least, cars involved in this crash. And you know what? Harold's like, uh, it's not been enough. I'm going to slam into the 65 car. You Curse know, so Harold's, catheter. to Harold's credit, he, he made a really good save prior to plowing into that. There goes the 29. Oh, we're going to have to see. He Yeah, he was sliding so fast, he had to come plowing into somebody back there. Somebody is possibly missing organs at this point thanks to Zach Outback. You see Chunk just getting turned by the two car. I mean, he must have been Jake upset. Jake Joe's pissed. Oh. Kyle. Hello. 
Oh, sorry. All right. I didn't know if we cut already or not. My bad. <laughs> oh, so in. fast after words. On board the 29 car, and he is in another zip code from the pack. He's a two time zones away. I don't know how he found a way into this. When he saw the wreck, I was going to call him Mr. Where did he come from? Oh, who's he going to hit? Look at this. Oh. Oh, no. 13. Look God. at that. He's been re uh, recrowned, guys. Mr. Why did he do that? Oh, my goodness. Why and did Tyrese. he do that? Tyrese almost did the same thing. What was he thinking? Oh, God. Willie Stud's zipping by, too. They're all, they're all pissed. They saw it. They know what happened. They're like, fuck that guy. Then he's just going to try to come down in here limping into turn one. He's going to try to cut it down to the apron a little bit. But the three card just doesn't care. Collects Chris. And then <laughs> Rustard. Bang. And that will definitely end both of their days today. It almost ended the 13, too. We almost got revenge on the 29. Just barely missed him. Getting ready here to go go racing again after that. Are uh, we? We are. We are. All right, cool. Lucas, Lucas up front. The 55 of uh, Damati Plywood in that plot 55 car. You know, the other 55 car had a, had a heck of a day the other day in the trash series. Going out and winning that thing. Jeff Gore dummy, that is. And well, let's see if Demonte Plywood can go ahead and do the same thing for us again. Maybe. What are we talking about? We're going green. We are going green, Matt. Jason Payson is Jason turning left down the pit road. Hell yeah. Green flag. Green is out. We're going again. Here we go. Look at that outside lane getting a big jump. Not going to help as he uh, doesn't have any friends with the Muscular's Axtrophy. Not getting a good start up there. Peck our petty getting a good launch there on the restart. Oh, Drops right in he front tried. of Delmonte Plywood. He tried. He tried. He tried. He tried. He had him clear, but he didn't, he have the, didn't have the dog get him to keep it there. Nah, he thought he was going to get turned, which is fair. He probably would have. Give a call to your, you can't hear me. Giving the 55 a really good shove there to get back in front. Baser cars involved in that first accident. 55, jump. You can't hear me had, I don't know, various things go on. Hungry for the lead is an understatement. A lot of 50 numbers up there right now. One, two, three. Cool. To, to follow up with something I said yesterday, great day to be a double digit number. <laughs> it is. Hey, we got oh, the seven. Not for He's long right though. There. Oh, Limburger. Limburger just got hooked a little bit. Brady, uh, Braden Bunch, they caught it, but that's going to kick the 58 car if you can't hear me out of the inside line. He's going to drop like a rock. Field thinning out after all of these accidents that we've been having. You know, that 55 oh. is looking pretty strong. Well, I say that now as the 57 yeah. peaks in the inside, but still a pretty good day for Demonte Plywood. Remember, he's a, he's a part-time driver this season. So, I mean, he wants to get the most out of it. He can. He's trying to prove himself. He wants to be able to come back for season three, four, five, six, however many there's going to be. He wants an opportunity, so he's trying to build up his resume as much as he can every single lap. There's yeah, and if he I doesn't perform, you. who knows if he comes back at all? Probably not. Exactly state-owned car, state-owned rules. We don't talk about it. Anyway, exactly. Braden Bunch in the lead. Guys, I think my eyes might be deceiving me. That is the 33 car in second. Babe Juth. Wow, he's going for oh. the lead. Oh! oh. oh. They're wrecking. They're, they're still wrecking. More wrecking, more wrecking oh, and they're plowing. Wow. Wow. Conroy Mario, is destroyed. No. Harold is destroyed. The 65 possibly destroyed, making music involved in another one. Oh, wow. my, Mario Zandretti from the pole to destroyed, and Mateus is just flying past people. As they race back, looks like the 33 will be the first one back to the line. That was a vicious hit that we saw live on the video camera in the race. Let's take, uh, let's see. See, coming down the back here, Kurt and Kyle Busch making it four <coughs> wide, just coming down the track. Gets it hooked together with Tathrima. Very unfortunate for that newcomer. Oh, sweet baby Ray's just barely clears him. They're all going to get squished up in the wall here. But then, oh, the 96 wow. just comes down and gets cleaned out by Conroy. Oh, and Cheesy just piles into Chris the catheter. <gasps> oh. oh, Tyrese. Where is your brake pedal, my guy? Really? Right in front of the Hilton Garden Inn? He did that last wreck, too. Let's not forget. He followed the 29 right through there. Didn't hit anybody. This time was not nearly as lucky. 
Riding on board with Chris Call, who's kind of separated from the pack as the wreck breaks out. He's going to barely get through this. Wow, they were man. about an inch away from clipping his right rear. Come back to take the green on lap 31. We got the 33 of Babe Juice, crew chief by Mr. Frog on the inside. On his outside, we got James hey. Icup in the 88 car. That's my cup. Yep, th that's my car. My cup, my car, my friend. That's my new friend. Anyways, he's he's on the front row here, guys. And we're going to take him down to the green. Go Pretty ahead. Restart. Get yeah, up on that throttle, boy. I expected to see him get a jump. But he didn't, and we're already three wide. Mikhail Oatmeal wasting no time getting up to the front of the pack, or at least he's wasting no time falling back. What do you mean? I mean, he didn't get alongside the 54. It was short lived. I will say this this time the front. The, the, oh, 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 no. Shit. No. Oh, Dewey. Gonna say. Don't do that. Dewey, no. He's doing it. Dewey. Oh. oh. What a fucking idiot. And he's backwards. And they're oh, piling oh, in. He's upside and he's down. upside down. Flipping. Man, oh, man. Here comes Tyrese to plow in again. And the 70 car. Sliding down the banking. They've yeah. crashed. Oh, Chunk. Oh, Chunk. There was another wreck ahead of them. It looks like Chunk was in that one. He might be in this one. Watch out. <sighs> okay. Watch out again. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Schmacked. Man, you know. Right. For some, for the driver that's won the most in this, in this, uh, in the series of tow car, that was uncalled for. And you know, as a wise man has once said many times, way after the fact, we have a caution. Taking another look at it here. Looks like Walter Cooler is going to hook the 08 down to the inside. The trouble begins here, though. On the radio, they were saying car high, car high. As we know, DUI Div loves to get in his cups. He heard clear high. Went right back up the hill, four wide, and from there it was on. Gets turned up the hill, hits Tatuma a little bit. Oh. There goes the state-owned car down through the infield. He's going to jump again, almost. And then they just keep piling in. The OA gets pitched up on its side and then finally turns all the way over. Nowhere for any of these guys to go. Look at Tyrese and another one flying in. Here comes the 70 car. He's going to plow in. To their credit, the whole track's blocked, but still. There is a brake pedal, like we just said, guys gonna take another look here at what happened to charles chunk the wagon i have an idea what happened doo -doo. here see demonic plywood the whole crash. down on the apron and oh man uh, yeah he just got wrecked by us body checked big hit we, to the outside wall too we, we absolutely demolished him oh, oh. chris call piles in her finishing off another person that tears up the whole front end of that three car that Her sucks. Harold made it through there because of that. My God. Coming back down here, it's going to be 15 to go and they take the green. The Mr. Frog piloted, well, not piloted, chiefed car of the 33 of Babe Juth still on the inside with Braden Bunch on his outside. And we got season one favorite, Limburger Asiago, on the inside of row two with James I Cup, Tristan's car on the outside. That's my cup. This field a little bit smaller than it has been all day, but. It just means everyone's love is going to be that much more aggressive to make up for it. Into the restart zone they come. Another even restart, surprisingly. The outside lane got broke up maybe a little too much. Actually, they're all broke up. The front three cars of each line got a great start, and everybody else didn't. Yeah, that's the... Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Kyle. No, you can go ahead first. I was just going to say, that's the second time the inside lane really got a good restart, honestly. Like, it, that wasn't oh, what we saw. Oh. oh, well, maybe I spoke too soon. Hot merge. Nah, they're doing all right. Look at Sweet Baby Ray's just made a killer move back there. Cut down to the inside lane in front of old Doo Doo Div in the 08 car. Bro gets no respect now. Keeping himself in the hunt for the win. We they're talked about, about it. To, there it is. They put him three wide. I knew it. I knew it was coming. Walter Cooler has shuffled Limburger Asiago out, which has now shuffled out Braden Bunch in the 45. They're shuffling. Is this a deck of cards? We talked about this earlier before the race even began. Well, as you see, I think the 45 car up in the wall oh, there. Oh, yeah, 17. he is. Oh, oh man. We, we said it earlier, though. The goodies trash practice was an <clears> absolute <throat> calamity fest, and then the race was pretty calm, pretty clean. This has been the exact opposite. We had a very tame practice, and we're down to about 25 cars left running, 24 on the lead lap right now. 
This has been an absolute bloodbath, and we're probably not done with only 13 to go here at the line. What a stupid move by Walter Cooler to move high entering turn three there. Just got his doors blown off by the 87. Now he's, what is he doing? He's going to be going to the back here in a second, probably. Bro oh. is lost. It's got a little They're bit three of wide for second for no reason. Mm. Lemberger make, almost in the wall. Trying to make that third lane work. It can work if you get enough people up there, but you got to have enough people committed. I that think this line, whole field has committed a lot, so we'll see how it goes. That line definitely does come to life, especially at the end of the tire wear life. <sighs> that becomes the only area you have grip after a while, but we haven't gotten that far into a run. I might not get any further than this off four. They're, whoa, a lot of, sh a lot of moving, a lot of shaking, and not in any sort of good way. The, oh, by the gosh. way, the the 87 of Deddy McFetty is in the lead during all this. Kind of oh, sneak here comes the state car. Way. Plot 55 car. Oh, man, they are getting bunched up back there for about fifth. And that unknown make, unknown manufacturer, 55 mobile flying down to the inside. We still haven't quite figured out what those things are, but they're fast. So we know that much. Oh, we know. My car. We know. Kern Kyle Bush was just in one of those last directs. He's up to second. And don't look now. Sweet Baby Ray Cyrus is the fourth car on that inside line. All right, I won't look. The other driver you want to kind of look at here is the 08. You know, that car was flipping not too long ago. Yeah, that's but crazy. DY Div having a, having a great bounce back from that. Remember, he's... Daddy's about to get turned. No, oh, he's all right. Oh, oh the two car. He's all right now. That actually might have helped him. He just got past the 21 doing that. <laughs> I'm also, up, fellas. Oh, sweet baby Ray Cyrus, another car that had a had a moment in this race who almost flipped. He's up here contending for the win here late in the race. Wow, oh, he's Jenny trying to McBetty turn the two. Is all, seven all the way the to the back. Look at that, the seven and Deddy all the way to the back of this pack. It, it, things happen that fast. You can go from all the way up front leading this thing to just eating shit in the back. Or you could go from flipping to possibly winning the race, apparently. You That's gotta... true. Dewdrop taking third right here. Oh, you got to wonder what's going through DeMonde Plywood's head. He saw the 55 win the race yesterday. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, God. Don't do it again. No, he did it again. He did it again. He did it again. He did it again. Oh, and sweet baby Ray's just turned. Oh, oh. Pecker Petty through the grass oh, quickly. through the grass. Wow. Oh, oh, oh we got one upside down, guys. Two of them. Two upside down. Oh, Possibly more hell plowed in. Yeah, I think oh, that was he's still plowing. There's our two cars that flipped right there. The 04 and the 57, I'm pretty sure. 57's she gonna was... keep rolling. Oh, oh. oh. no. 04, to 04 might spend the rest of The 04 might spend the rest of his life rolling. Blimp Biscuit. <laughs> Speaking of rolling, let's see from high above here at Blimp Biscuit, the Goonier Blimp. 08 car gonna get hooked a little bit by You Can't Hear Me. And then, for reasons unknown to absolutely everybody besides DUI Diff himself, does the exact same thing he did last time when he got wrecked. It's turned up the hill, the 05 gets hooked to the inside, he's lucky he didn't fly away down there. The 57 turned up in front of Babe Juth, Oh man. You hate to see that for that 33 team, they actually had things mostly under control. Oh! Oh! oh the 57 gets clobbered, starts turning over. Not a flip. Not a flip. But the that 04 certainly did, yeah. yeah. And oh here my god! I think Chunk's Chunk mostly okay. Crimes. Yeah, he was very close to manslaughter charges for his crew chief, but escaped it that time. Just having another look here. Sweet baby Ray Cyrus hooked down the track viciously as other cars get sent down here as well. Rolling over the bumps, bouncing on it, doing tricks on it. No hands, just... They're lucky that they didn't tip over. Like the 57 and 04 did. Look at Chunk, man. Oh, God. He if saw the gap. 17, yeah, if that 17 didn't slide up, that would have been fine. If gap Chunk, you know? Take another look from another angle. You know, the one thing I don't like about this is the 08 got away unscathed this time. The first time he flipped, this time he just, he just took out a bunch of cars for no reason. And oh, oh yeah, and just like Lindbergh. hard, hard into the driver's side oh, there God. for down Oceago. 
Down Under got Down Under, the 04 car, and sent sure him over. Did. Shaquille Oatmeal has had no fun today. Harold. I feel so bad for that 33 car. He was uh, having a great day, got caught up in the start of that wreck, cleared it, but the 57 got plowed so hard that he caught back up to him and wrecked him again. This Terrible is a psyop. We will not feel bad for Babe Juice. Here we are with the geezer, Harold Clot. Another couple zip codes away, but you know what? You don't need to slow down, because that's not how you get to the front. You see a bunch of them turning over up there. Oh, mm. that's got to be angina for sure. Pushed Muscular's Axtrophy right on out of there, though. Blondboard Limburger here, as it all starts right in front of him. And it keeps happening right in front of him, and then he's in it. And at that point, he's just along for the ride. Bang! That was Tathri Masato slamming him square in the door. And he just keeps getting hit. Spinning around like a Beyblade down there. I don't think Cheez-Its would make good Beyblades. I think they'd break apart once they make contact. So, not ideal for Limburger. On board the 04 car, Daniel Suez. Yet another person that decided not to slow down whatsoever. And boy, did he pay the price. He's going to hit the oh. 57. Watch him turn over, but then he does oh, the same. Wow. Wow, that was reminiscent of what the 29 did in the trash race last season. No roof damage, guys. That's, That's kind of cool. Unfortunately, though, I think it stops oh, here. Yeah, I, I think, think this is, is where stuck. the... Well, gentlemen, it's that time of the race where we once again are forced to make picks of our own, predicting who we think is going to win this race. Mike, I'll start with you. Who's winning today? Guys, for me... I know it's kind of obvious that you would think it'd be the one in the lead, but I don't think so. I think that two car, new to the Cup Series, Jake Joe, he's been very aggressive all day. I think he's going to get it done. Matt? Well, I don't think you have to look too far back to find the winner of this race. I think Carton Kyle Busch is finally going to get it done, get himself in victory lane. I, I just feel it. Justin? House is going to win two times in a row. Totar, Tokar is a scam. The 55 is going to win. And for my pick, look no further than fifth place. Braden Bunch, he won Riki last year on fuel mileage. I'm thinking he wins this one on speed today. Well, Babe Juth. He's on speed? Babe Juth is, at the very least. He's going back into the pits for some reason. It's Hold the on. end of the race, brother. What are you doing? Oh. We got five to go, and he's in pit road, and we're green. Mr. Frog must be yelling at him to come down. You don't want to disobey Mr. Frog. Hello. Terrible consequences for doing that, Mike. Hello, but you need to pit. You need to come in so you can wreck the cars. No! Oh, God. No, Our come on. We're no. after each other. I will say, if all of these cars crash, they're going to look like geniuses, keeping that 33 out of the melee. And it could very well happen here. 21 already up into the lead. The 45 close in second. And don't look now, but there comes the 88 car close behind in third. Man, I'm nervous, guys. I'm not. This is fun. Yeah, I'm Matt. <gasps> Oh, oh, this is why. They're hooking. They're bumping. They're slamming. That A car, that 08 will not go away. He just keeps getting crashed and he's still in the middle. Wouldn't it be Tow funny car to racing like you've time? never seen it before in high definition. Man. Oh, that second one. Starlink no, lose a little bit of ground. As you can see here. Oh, that's oh, oh. 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 Things keep happening. <gasps> Push him up the track. Oh, oh God. There you go. Three wide for the lead. James Icup trying, and it's going to bite him in the ass. And he's got no help up there. This is great for Kurt and Kyle Busch, though. Walter Not for long. Here comes Walter. Oh, Walter's oh, hooking him. On. Walter's Ooh. wanting to wreck him. Oh, God. Demanded. Didn't wreck him. This is keeping Braden Bunch in the outside lane alive, and a lot more takers as they come to three to go. He's been holding on for dear life up there, Matt. And every few minutes, or seconds, it seems like we're turning somebody to the infield. So, it might work out if he keeps it up there. Look at the 9, looking low again on that 21 car, but he's giving him a great push through 1 and 2. Oh my. Finally clear of the 45 car and not hooked down the backstretch, but he's going to have to move up the track. This opens the door for Walter Cooler. Don't look now, but that 71 car, he's not too far back, and he knows he knows how to yell at that thing. He's going to he's gonna try to make a run here for the, for, for the win. On a two-month-long, one-race winning streak, Joe Swanson is. Can he keep it alive today? Coming to two to go, boys. There's our elder Sato Tatuma. I was I was seeing him earlier when the pack sort of broke up on the restart, and I liked where he was when they were running in a single-file line. 
it might shake out to where he takes the lead at the right time if he doesn't get wrecked by the 87 Ooh. making moves on Sato joe swatson to shuffle <gasps> to the outside Whoa. yelling at the system block him block him and it's not working walter cooler's blocks are working on the state-owned 55 car he said fuck you guys you're not winning another race you had enough yesterday walter cooler is blocking life his life depends on it that 55 has been oh. in his mirror this whole time. Oh, yeah, oh he couldn't oh. block that. Couldn't block that. 55. Coming to the white flag. And all and of a sudden, we're leading. Can they hang on with two to go? You saw it there, the 87. His tires are absolutely cooked. He had to lift big in the tri-oval. He's going to get to the inside of the nine car, but will he have enough time? Tatuma is pushing him out away from everybody else. Let's see if he tries to cut low off the corner, shuffle him out of the inside line. I don't know if he's going to be able to do it. He's going to need some help. Here they come. McBetty behind them. There they come. Oh, Here he goes to the push. inside. And now will State McBetty have time car. to act? And you know, that might be just enough what Sato needed. Oh, oh the 87 is looking for him. McBetty is on him. He's trying oh. to wreck him. It's not going to work. The kick out on the nose. He's it not going to get made the difference. Tatuma not Sato today. wins at Daytona. <laughs> What a huge wow. day for this family. Coming off of a co-championship for his son, he's going to win the se season opener at Daytona. Wow, what, a, what an electric finish, guys. What a How race. about that? And for two seasons in a row, Tatuma Sato is going to be in the playoffs, guys. Our That's first pretty cool. Repeat, our first repeat playoff driver. Where's his boy? Is he still out there? Uh, I think he retired. I, th I think he perished long ago, Mike. He's tired. Man, what a race! That I'll was say. that was crazy. I, was you know, cool. like I like I was saying, just one of the camera cuts. I liked where the seven was sitting, and I wished in that moment I could have my pick back. Uh, picks didn't shake out that great. We had we had third and fourth. I don't I don't know where the hell my pick went. Well, the seven car after Tumasato, your winner. Second place, Daddy McBetty in the eighty-seven. Third, Braden Bunch, my pick. Didn't quite get it done, but still a great result. The state-owned mobile, the 55 and P4. And rounding out our top 10 is the man that yells at his windshield, Joe Swanson. Let's take another look at that move. Did you say top 10? Going back on board to Tumasato on the white flag. Coming off turn two, it, it wasn't looking great for him. Plywood was holding it low, but the run comes from behind, and Tatuma just peeks the nose out. Demonde couldn't do anything about that. Just and that, go. and that will be today's Boomer's soft hands move of the race. God, and this right here. He, he held on to it. McBetty was all over him trying to get him loose. Didn't quite work. Great what run for McBetty, too. What a race. Yeah, we had Willie Studs up there. Like sixth place on debut in the Cup Series. That's pretty huge. Uh, a, lot, a lot of debut guys uh, are up here. We got old Dewey. We got Sha uh, Shaquille Oatmeal. James Icup. James you Cup, can't hear yep. me. A lot That's of three guys new drivers that... back to back to back right there. Yeah, and a new driver to Cup uh, to lead them all off. Actually, is Walter Cooler. Yeah, Walter Cooler also is, as is Joe Swanson. Yeah, yeah wow. A, lot, a good, great day did. for the trash drivers and new drivers alike. Did somehow manage to finish up here also after everything he I was gonna say go through but he actually caused a lot of shit so I guess I'm not surprised but you know what they say Tristan drunk people usually survive the accidents <laughs> well that's gonna wrap things up from Daytona today congratulations are in order for the seven team and the Tumasato in victory land and in the playoffs as we said earlier the 87 P2 today great run for that team Great and bunch in third Fourth place, the state-owned Demonde Plywood car. Going to home at fourth today. Fifth place, rounding out our top five, Joe Swanson in the 71. Sixth is Walter Cooler. Seventh is Willie Studs. Eighth is the 08 car of DUI Div after several incidents. Ninth, Shaquille Oatmeal. And James Icup. Tristan, your boy got a top 10. That's my boy. So, are we going to see more of this next week, guys? I think we're going to see great racing all season. I think it's going to be a little more challenging next week at Auto Club. A lot more bumpy even than this old Daytona but they got to slow down for the corners. I don't know how they're going to handle that. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see the new drivers handle it uh, and see if they can figure it out. Not a lot of uh, experience for those guys, but like we saw today, those trash series drivers, I expect to see a lot out of them next week as well. Um, not just surviving accidents, but showing up to play, possibly get their way into the playoffs early in the season.
Yeah, and you know, I think, I think, I don't know if Daytona's necessarily what you're going to expect the rest of the season, because obviously we have such, such a different schedule, uh, or a variety, I should say. And, you know, I will say this, though. After what we saw today, we are we are in for a good season. Like that was a fun race to watch. If you're a spectator, if you're a fan, if you're watching on Tokar on YouTube, watching from the booth, it was a lot of fun. It really was, and I'm excited to see what else happens this season. Well, from here in the booth of Daytona to wherever you might be listening to this, Tokar's back, baby. Thank you for tuning in, and have a good night.